Um, so you've been using the X1D2 50C recently. Yes, so I had to play with a couple of the cameras, but this one, I just, for me, feels really nice in the hand. It's really light, which was the thing I couldn't believe. And um, playing around with some of the lenses, like I sort of ended up with the sweet spot, I think, of the X1D2 and the 65mm. I really love that lens. Um, but yeah, it just it just feels so um, nice, it, the way it fits and the mechanics of where everything is. It, it's such a logical camera. And of course, it's Hasselblad, so just every little detail is really well thought out, even how you connect the strap. <laughs> um, <laughs> just the little connectors for that. I was, it took me a while to figure them out, and then I was like, of course it's clever, it's Hasselblad. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, we always get questions about what lenses people use as well. And I think the 65 was your favourite, wasn't it? Yeah, I really like the 65 for because I shoot a lot of um, editorial, and I think we don't want anything sort of too wide most of the time, unless you know you've been asked to really distort things. Um, and I shoot wide open as well, so um, 2.8. I was you know pushing it at 2.8 a lot of the time. Handle really low light situations. I think we're going to look at some of the pictures that I took in Rome at. Um, like sunrise so that's pretty low light um but there were you know i did like a couple of others as well but um yeah is it the 80 mil the 1.9 yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's a gorgeous gorgeous lens as well not as much of an all-rounder as the 65 but i absolutely loved it Okay, and when uh, all the images we're going to show today, we've put the camera and the lens that was used to shoot that image in the corner, so everyone at home can see what lens was used. Um, and as you mentioned, you have had a, a little play also with the 907X camera. Um, yes. So they're fundamentally the same camera, the X1D2 and the 907X, in terms of the platform and the sense they use, uh, mm -hmm. but very different in terms of their ergonomics. But you did prefer the X1D2. Yeah, so it was great to shoot, like I did a couple of shoots with both of them. And I would say I probably preferred the 907X in the studio. And when I was out and about, definitely preferred the X1D2. Um, and I just, for me, I naturally sort of wanted to revert to looking down, you know, the waist level viewfinder, which it yeah. doesn't have. Um, and so it was kind of looking at the, you know, looking at the back of it. It, it felt like my old 503 CX, but without that viewfinder. However, yeah. it's so tiny. It's so incredibly light. The actual camera bit, you can't believe. It's like a slice of bread, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. a yeah. cracker. Um, yeah. And I can, you know, I did have a lot of fun with it. And it was sometimes where it was just great because it's so, you can just grab it and go. It's so maneuverable. And, uh, you know, I like how simple this is to use. It's not covered in millions of buttons it's um you know you need to know what you're doing but once you do it's just a real grab and go camera so when you see something and you want to just get it as quickly as possible you can yeah okay and for me it's always interesting to to hear people talk about both cameras that they've played with and to see you know it's very much personal opinion as to which one they prefer so yeah it's always very interesting to hear 